As time progresses, big and startup brands are coming in with hot and new electric models. In this video, we'll show you 15 new electric cars that are coming soon and their exclusive features you have to see. But before we continue, don't forget to subscribe and comment. I subscribe to be in the next video. The battery electric vehicle has a nice articulate suspension to get over obstacles that gives you the feel of a manual transition off-road with four battery packs delivering 285 horsepower and 273 pound-feet of torque. The two door Wrangler connects to a six-speed manual transmission through a conventional pedal-operated clutch. The Wrangler is said to have an accelerating performance of 0 to 60 miles per hour in 6.8 seconds. The electric vehicle uses four lithium-ion battery packs to deliver a total of 70 kilowatt hours. The Audi series of e-tron models Q4 e-tron and the Sportback version which trades storage space for a slicker and stylish design are both all-electric compact SUVs. They both have the same powertrain and 82 kilowatt hour lithium ion batteries that can last for about 280 miles. Both models come with a rating of 300 horsepower and an acceleration of 0 to 62 miles per hour in 6.3 seconds and a top speed of 112 miles per hour. They both have nearly identical dimensions. The Sportback version is a half inch longer and has improved efficiency because of its dynamic roofline. The BMW i4 is equipped with fifth generation BMW eDrive technology combined with the modern interior design and an increased storage compartment for big and small adventures. The BMW i4 eDrive 40 with the single motor and rear wheel drive configuration has an engine power of 250 kilowatts and an acceleration of 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.7 seconds. The BMW i4 M50 uses a two motor and all wheel drive setup configuration which makes it more powerful with an engine power of 400 kilowatts and an acceleration of 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.9 seconds. Both models have an 83.9 kilowatt hour battery pack and can move from 10% to 80% in 31 minutes using a 200 kilowatt charging station. Byton was founded by a Chinese company in 2016 with an interest of selling electric vehicles in the US market. The standard m bike crossover will have two battery options of 71 kilowatt hours and an optional battery capacity of 90 kilowatt hours. The electric car has a 48 inch interior screen in addition to the massive display on the dashboard. There is also a small tablet display on the steering wheel and a few other touchscreen displays. Byton seems to focus on the integration of modern technology in EV than on power and acceleration capability. The electrified G80 is an electric version of the G80 sedan with an overall length of 5,005mm, a width of 1,925mm, and a height of 1,475mm. The electrified G80 uses a dual motor all-wheel drive driving system delivering a total power of 272 kilowatts and a maximum torque of 700 newton meters. It uses an 87.2 kilowatt hour lithium ion polymer battery and the electric range should come in around 265 miles per charge. The GMC Hummer is expected to come in both a pickup and an SUV and is designed for convenience to overcome your bumpy and rugged environmental obstacle and giving you an enjoyable outdoor experience. The GMC Hummer brings modern design to trucks with a 12.3 inch driver information center display and a 13.4 inch touchscreen display center mounted. The Hummer has a storage unit in the trunk as well as the extended luggage capacity for small and big luggage. The best features about the GMC Hummer are the four wheel drive and a four wheel steering crab walk mode. These bad boys give the Hummer the ability to turn its wheels 10 degrees in either direction and drive diagonally at low speeds to avoid obstacles. Aside from these features, the Hummer also has an extract mode to get over tough obstacles using adaptive air ride suspension and multiple camera views to maneuver off-road and navigate tight spaces when traveling at low speeds. The Hyundai Ioniq 5 is a compact SUV available in a single motor or dual motor configuration. The rear drive single motor generates 225 horsepower of power and 250 pound-feet of torque, which Hyundai says will have an acceleration of 0 to 60 miles per hour in 7.4 seconds, while the all-wheel drive dual motor generates 320 horsepower of power and 446 pound-feet of total torque, giving an advantage over the rear drive single motor with an acceleration of 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.2 seconds. Unlike some common electric vehicles, the Ionic 5 can accept as well as feedback electric charge easily, so you can easily power any electrical appliance as long as your Ionic 5 has a charge left in it. The Evija has four electric motors just behind each wheel 
and each motor can deliver up to 500 horsepower with a total supply of 2,000 horsepower and 1,700 newton meters of torque. The Evija is said to have a propelling acceleration of 0 to 62 miles per hour in 3 seconds and a top speed of 320 kmh. Now that's impressive. The control and gears use touch sensitive buttons that give active feedbacks and have sophisticated interior trims, which can be customized to your taste. The Evija has a 70 kilowatt hour battery able to move close to 250 miles between charges. The Evija can charge at an amazing rate of 800 to 150 kilowatts, which takes an average of 10 to 50 minutes to charge depending on the type of charger you use. Mercedes will be unveiling a new EV with awesome high-tech features. The car's exterior design has some features that are similar to the S-Class, but not all, of course, and the interior design looks futuristic with hyper screens that use more of a touch-sensitive screen than buttons. The EQS comes with two battery options of 108 kilowatt hours in capacity and has an electric range of 478 miles or a smaller 90 kilowatt hour battery with a range of 400 miles. The EQS can propel from 0 to 60 miles per hour in less than 4.5 seconds. Not bad. The Rivian R1T EV truck comes with an all-wheel drive configuration. The R1T is said to be able to tow roughly 11,000 pounds on three batteries of 105 kilowatt hours, 135 kilowatt hours, and 180 kilowatt hours will come with the Rivian truck. If you're looking to get the R1T because of the towing capacity, it's advisable to get the largest battery pack because towing such a heavy trailer will definitely exhaust the battery quickly. The R1T has a total of 800 horsepower and 900 pound-feet of torque with an acceleration performance of 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3 seconds. Apart from these amazing features of the R1T, it also has an adjustable air suspension that can raise the height from 8 to 14 inches to overcome tough obstacles. The Pininfarina Battista is said to be the most powerful electric hypercar built in Italy, generating 1,877 horsepower and 1,696 pound-feet of torque. With a top speed of around 217 miles per hour, the Pininfarina Battista has an accelerating performance of 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2 seconds and an electric range of 450 kilometers. The Pininfarina Battista uses a 120 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery pack and has four electric motors behind each wheel. The Battista's exterior design looks like that of a mid engine supercar. The cabin has two display screens, one on each side of the steering wheel. The expected price tag of the hypercar is $2 million. Nissan continues to drive into the production of electric vehicles with the current SUV named Aria. The Aria offers the front and all wheel drive configuration with two available battery packs of 63 kilowatt hours and 87 kilowatt hours, which is optional. The all wheel drive is expected to have an accelerating performance of 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5 seconds. The Aria has dual 12.3 inch screens that serve as both the digital gauge cluster and the infotainment screen. Aria also has safety features like the automated emergency braking system with pedestrian detection, semi autonomous driving mode, and lane departure warning that help keep you in the lane. The body structure of the Aria gives it an exquisite and sporty look for an SUV. The Lucid Air electric vehicle from the startup automaker in Silicon Valley has a range of up to 517 miles. The Lucid Air has three sets of screens in the cabin and act as the gauge cluster, the infotainment system, and the last for oscillatory features. It also has an additional infotainment screen that pops out from the dashboard for control and settings. The Lucid Air produces over 800 horsepower and a battery capacity of 113 kilowatt hours combined with the all wheel drive configuration. The Lucid Air is said to attain 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.74 seconds. Using a 350 kilowatt charger, you can get 300 miles range in 20 minutes. The Lucid Air has an app available to precondition the vehicle, set a navigation route, and check the charge status of the EV. The Lucid Air has face recognition software and a variety of sensors built in like the ultrasonic, radar, and high-definition LiDAR system. The Kia EV6 is not quite as tall as an SUV. It's relatively low, but it doesn't feel like a crossover either. The exterior design is quite exquisite and has an impressive look indeed. The Kia has a manually adjusting steering wheel with actual buttons and uses a 77.4 kilowatt hour battery to supply the rear wheel version of the vehicle with a 226 horsepower and an electric range of 360 miles and the all wheel version with 321 horsepower and a range of 300 miles. The accelerating performance of the EV would be modest, getting you from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 7 seconds. A Spark Owl is a sophisticated state of the art electric hypercar produced by the Japanese with four powerful electric motors that produce a total power of 
480 kilowatts with 2012 horsepower and 2000 newton meters of torque altogether. The OWL has an insane amount of power, almost three times more powerful than Formula E cars and two times more than Formula 1 cars. Insane, right? The body and the framework have most of the components made entirely of top-notch carbon fiber materials with a unique battery pack that can last for about 450 kilometers. That's not even the best part. These bad boys are said to accelerate in performance of 0 to 60 miles per hour in 1.7 seconds and a top speed of 400 kilometers per hour. Which car do you like the most? Let us know in the comments.